Well, a very good afternoon and uh, a warm welcome to the Suyu Stadium in Akita. It's uh, a game between Blablitza, Akita and Thespa Kasatsu Gunma coming up, coming your way. A clash between two of the lowest goal scorers in the table. When it comes to scoring goals, Blablitza. They've only got 15 in 17 at home, but they've only leaked 21. The only team with less home goals is Thespa with 12. They are the two lowest goal scorers in the division, but only one of them faces a battle against relegation. A big 10-point gap between Thespa up in 13th and the bottom two. No such luxuries for Thespa. In the uh, other game that uh, kicked off an hour before this one today, Vigalta 0 0 at half time, but they are down to 10 men. Yushushi Endo, the former Kashima Antlers veteran, sent off in that game at 0 0 at half time against Votis. Glorious sunshine today here in Akita. What would bring an umbrella though? The forecast overnight tonight is for heavy rain and thunderstorms and that will continue in for the next 48 hours it is the monsoon season in japan it's not an unlikely weather forecast we're expecting a stormy game here today but blitzer looking to put right a pretty poor home record they've won their last four away matches that's why they're halfway up the table Relegation a distant thing now for Akita. Two changes. Tokafumi Fujiyama gets a start in midfield and in attack as a return for Shota Aoki. He plays against the team who he left at the beginning of the season to join the Blitza. Thespa making just the one change. It's in the central defensive position the experienced former Yokohama player Yuta Fuji comes into the side to replace the injured Hiroto Heiteo who doesn't travel Ryota Nakamura an important player for the home side he's uh, chipped in this season with some vital assists, although he's not actually scored in J2 this season. His manager is Ken Yoshida. え、三試合連続の無失点と良い守備から良い攻撃という形が体現されている印象です。具体的にはどんなところがうまくいっている サイド攻撃の素晴らしいチームだと思います。その群馬ここ数試合いろんなスタイル試してきているような状態ですが、秋田としてはどのような対応が必要でしょうか。助け合って全員攻撃、全員守備。4 ありがとうございました。はい、お願いします。いや。いや、カーキ。ウィズアンローンフロムヨカハマ。いや。プレイザーのレフトハンドサイドレフトバックトレディショナルエナウィハズビンユースライズドモーニングミッドフィールドディス
攻防の,あの強度だとか、そういったものがキーになると思いますでは秋田のプレー、特に警戒したいプレー、やはりゴール前のプレーでしょうか、えーはい、秋田さんはもう非常になんていうかな、独自のというか、あのスタイルがありますので。それに対して我々がどういうふうにアジャストするかの部分もあるしで今、僕たちの選手たちが、ね、できることの、ね、最大限を出してもらってあのなんとか、ね、秋さんを上回りたいと思います前節に続き今節も声出し応援の適応試合となります一言いただけますでしょうかあの日常が戻ってきたというかねあのフットボールは特にスタジアムは、ね、あの舞台として、ね、日常からこう少しかけ離れたところに皆さんが身を置いて、ね、楽しむ場だと思っています。そこがなんかスタジアムの日常というかねそれが戻ってきたことは本当に嬉しく思いますし、えー、サポーターの皆さんもたくさん来ていただいているのであの、ね、共に戦っていただいてなんとかみんなで勝ち点差を取れるように頑張りたいと思いますありがとうございましたはい、ありがとうございましたどうもよろしくお願いします It's a noisy atmosphere inside the ground for this one、I'm、looking forward to what should be a very intriguing match up between Two sides that we feel have underperformed this season. The Blitz have averaged a little over 2,000 people in the home matches this season.、And、their home form has hardly inspired people to come and watch them away from home. They've been a delight. The Blitz of fans might not be around in numbers, they certainly make their noise. Right up in the north today. On the coastline of the Sea of Japan, the northernmost club in J2 this season, Blabetsa. 600 kilometer trek up from the northwest of Tokyo. The Thespa, one of the Tokyo based clubs in the J2 this season. The two teams. Blue of Blabitza, the whites of Thespa. Thespa's need in the afternoon sunshine is one of huge importance. They are staring down the barrel with half a dozen games to go. It's looking down at the bottom like the UQ. Go. But that's not a certainty by any means at this stage. They are, however, five, oh, sorry, three points from safety. r i g h t a g u l a Morioka and f e s p a on 33 points. And then Amir Ardija was pulled up and away recently with some good results. Four points in the last six, three wins in the last six as well. They're up to 35 points. It looks like two of those four. Ryuki with just six wins out of their 36 games so far this season. Need to start winning. And very soon as well. This is where the fixtures are starting to run out for both teams. Later on today, the UQ take on Renoffa. Wait till Monday night before Rosso host Iwata Grula. The RDJ take on Tuchigi later on today. That's the action down at the bottom. At the moment, on the side of the pitch, and it's for a couple of supporters of the Super Club loyally presenting flowers to the two captains today. A Jimmy Hosoge skipper's Thespa. Narba, the captain of Blue Blitzer.
It's a blustery afternoon. It's the match ball is presented by those two supporters to today's match referee, Rio Tanaka. Let's have a quick run through the two teams. Two changes for Blubitsa Akita. Tomi Fumi Fujiyama coming into the centre of the midfield alongside his captain Shuto Inaba. Leading the line with three goals this season. The former Thespa player, Shota Aoki. No Naoki Inoa. He's out sideline through injury. And there's a return to the bench for Neo Iguchi. And there's Rio Tanaka, the referee, one of the regulars on the J2 circuit. about Thespa. Just one change. Injury rules out Hirota Heiteo. The experienced defender is left at Hutton. But an equally experienced defender steps in. Yuta Fuji. At the back, the number five. Goals are a problem for both of these sides. The top scorer is Shu Hiramatsu. He's on the bench. He was relegated this time last season to Saga Mihara when four teams went down as part of the restructure. He stayed in J2 and wants to stay in J2 this season. His goals have helped Vespa. At the moment, he's not getting the kick. He's on the bench again. Vespa in the whites. Their need is the greater. They've drawn their last three. They've shaken off the losing habit. They're out of the bottom two on goal difference alone. This is a game they will be earmarking as potentially one in which they can pull away from Iwata Grula and away from Ryukyu at the bottom. Those two sides play later today and tomorrow respectively. One win in eight for Thespa. One win in ten away from home. That one win coming way back in July away at Montedeo. One goal in seven home matches for the Blitzer. Their last home win was against promotion hope Yokohama back in April. April the 8th, the last time that Blitzer won a home game. They could match their away form. It's a decent form at home. They'd probably be pushing towards the playoffs. Said that. Their away form was as bad as their home. They'd be keeping Thespa company right down at the bottom. They're on the attack early on the home side. Ayoki. Lost into the box early on by Sato. For a good start here. We've made a solid statement of intent in the very first minute. Trying to get forward. Thespa, that's Koji Yamada. Former Yurara with Diamonds goalkeeper. Going through the ranks there before moving to university. It's Ken Yoshida. It's a promotion a couple of years ago from J3. Played by Nakamura. Ryota Nakamura played over 100 times for the club, a 31 year old former 
Matsumoto Yamaga player. Who is the Vespa coach, Soyoshi Otsuki. Up in the air from Hosogate. Didn't go anywhere in particular. Snapshot uh, goal on the turn from Shiji. That would be a Thespa throw. Back off and underway for the second half in the game at the Eurotech Stadium. The Galta in the playoff picture nil. Tokushima Votis nil. So Yushishi Endo, the veteran midfielder, sent off in that game. So they'll have to play the second half of 10 men. Galta. Nakamura wins the corner. You know, it's a decision that wasn't agreed by Kojima. It's a very forceful start this from Blablitza. Scored 15 goals in 17 home matches. The worst in J2. Flicked back towards goal by Shota Aoki, but he got his angles all wrong. He's back to goal and straight out for a goal kick. R3 unbeaten. Nine home league matches without a win. Free kick goes straight out. The free kick is given. And a foul on Ryuji Seto. Seto goes down, was also signed from Sagamahara, as was the Thespa substitute and top scorer, Hiramatsu. Relegated on the final day of last season from J2. Four and a half minutes have elapsed without too much to talk about. The home side have made the early pressing. Another former Sagamahara player, the goalkeeper, puts it straight up in the air and plucked out of the air by his opposite number, Yamada. His distribution was poor. Through the middle from Fujiyama. This is Sato. It's the cross in straight into the arms of Yamada. Good play from the home side. Opening up Thespa. So 2-0 winners at Tokyo Verdict in midweek after a 0-0 draw here with Tokushima Vertis last weekend. Yes, but they've drawn their last three. Climbing out of the bottom two in midweek with a 0-0 home draw against bottom side Ryukyu. Their last two away games have picked up 1-1 draws at Tochigi and Tokyo Verdict. Kawamoto. Uh, can he get the cross in? Well, no, but he can get the corner. First corner of the game for the visitors. Good play on the left-hand side by Yu Yu Yakagi. He's on loan from Yokohama. Twisting and turning. This cross stops at source by Fujiyama. He's going to take the corner. He needs to set 
Keith take it for Thespa. Three goals this season from midfield, a 32-year-old. Comes the corner, headed away solidly by Akida. And Akida again. Chida and then gathered by Tanaka. Kazanara Ichimi has scored an opening goal in the other game that is into the second half. Tokushima Votis 1 0 up at 10 man Vigelta. That would be a boost. Tokushima Votis, if they were to get something in that game, they're currently five points off the playoffs. Drawn 21 of their 36 games this season, Tokushima Votis, but they lead at the Yurtek Stadium, the team in 10th, against the Vigelta side, who are currently fourth. Good for automatic promotion at one stage, but they're behind today. There's a whole new to the expression parking the bus there is a bus parked on the side of the pitch judging by the amount of goals these two sides have scored this season they've run into a few buses in J2 Juna's first throw was promptly returned from whence it came and there's another throw now Juma throw to wait by Fujiyama nine minutes have gone first of super good sales down into this game in the past couple of minutes Rushes off of Suzuki and behind for a goal kick. And loan for Matsumoto um, Gama at Yamagarada. It's uh, Kurimoto Suzuki. Side settled into the game, but still no smile for Suyushi Matsuki. Kagi leaves it to Kojima. Okami. Leave it short to Okamoto and it's given away and there's a chance to dart forward for Kuyanagi. First chance to get forward from the fullback who spent a short while on loan at Thespa back in 2018. 15 appearances, one goal for the 32-year-old former Swedish player. There he is. First dunks forward from him, and he wins a throw, which he can now launch into the penalty area. The Blitzer Akita fans have been banging their drums and clapping their hands and making an atmosphere since way before kickoff. This place was a crescendo of noise before the teams even come out to warm up. The way well by Murakami. A bit of experience in both of these sides, and Murakami at 32 carries more than most alongside Hosagai, the captain in midfield, who's a very, very experienced player. He's played a lot of Bundesliga football for Leverkusen, now to Berlin and Stuttgart. Sato's throw in towards the near post. Two players went for the same ball. Chida and Nakamura They've got them one another's way in the end and it's gone out for a goal kick one result from yesterday a very interesting result it was too Fagiano 3 Vivaran 0 doesn't do Vivaran's playoff credentials any good they're just outside the playoffs by two points still 
Fagiano are now within two points of Yokohama in second. They are closing in on the automatic promotion. Yokohama picking up lots of draws at the moment. They need to start winning. Yokohama are today away. And Becky Gardner at home to uh, Venfora Kufu. Cup semi finalists who are not in particularly good form in the league. There'll be an opportunity there for Yokohama to get back to winning ways. That's later on today. We'll have more live action next weekend when we focus on the race for promotion, a mouth watering game in the City Light Stadium. Fagiano are chasing down automatic promotion, and we will be all across them as they take on fourth place pro playoff hopefuls, the Gauta Sendai. Are currently losing today. Kickoff in that game, 1400 hours Japanese time, 0500 hours BST. That's next Sunday. Following weekend, we're off to Ryukyu and the Ryukyu Islands for bottom against second. Ryukyu desperately battling to avoid relegation. Yokohama desperately trying to hold on to automatic promotion in second. Kickoff 18:30 Japanese time, 10:30 BST. At the Tapic Kenzo. Two great games coming up. There's a shot that comes in from the edge of the penalty area from Shiji. Fended off, not once but twice. Then hoisted back in towards goal by Enaba. Flies over the crossbar and out for a goal kick off of the captain. Enaba, former Albrex Nigata player. minutes gone if you're just joining us not too much in the way of goal mouth action back right footed ball to the channel oh, motor made the run cleared away by an arbor just down by Yamada the goalkeeper and Kawakami Yamada Takumi Meisei has equalised in the other game. The Galta Sendai equalising despite being down to 10 men against Tokushima Votus. The draw kings are drawing. That will be a 22nd draw of the season for the team of Votus. Keto Chida's interception. With an hour gone, nil nil. stretched so far. That change now. All back from Kawamoto. Trying to find his strike partner, Kunimoto Suzuki. Fended off by Akita. Kawamoto. Kajima. It's a good ball in. Takes a deflection. Oh, it's saved and tucked in. And they've got their goal, Thespa. Tanaka, only his second goal of the season, and his first in J2. And it's just what Thespa needed. It's just what the game needed. First real chance of the game. Suzuki couldn't find a way of scrambling the ball over the line. It's all about the ball into the boxes. Kojima's ball in. 
and it falls nicely to Suzuki, blocked, and it just drops nicely, and Tanaka couldn't miss. It was a simple tap-in. Goalkeeper made a good save, but where is he? Perhaps should have pushed it away. He deflected it straight into the area. It was populated by Tanaka. And he just rolled it into the empty net from point blank range. Big smile on the face of Toshia Tanaka. The former Kashima Antlers player. And it's given Thespa the lead. And that is a mighty big goal in the relegation scrap down at the bottom. A huge goal. Tanaka's got it. And for the blitzer. They've got themselves in a familiar situation here where they need to come from behind. I can't help but feel sorry for the Blitzer fans. They have created an atmosphere that suggests their side are pushing for promotion. They haven't won a home game since May the 8th. And they beat Yokohama here. Hoist the ball into the box. Controlled nicely by Suzuki, who had time to try and release Kawamoto. The 21 year old is full of running. And the Japanese under 18 international. He's played in the top flight for Shimizu S. Pulse. He's had a spell at Fagiano. That's going to be a goal kick. Yeah. 18 and a half minutes gone. And that Tanaka goal is huge in the context of things. Wood lift, Thespa. Three points clear of Krula. He play tomorrow. Does leave that bottom two. Cast adrift and needing points. Home games against Renault Fup and Amir Ardija. They go to Rosso on the penultimate game. And then what about this for a last game of the season? Thespa against Iwate Grula Morioka. That could be, could be a do or die playoff to decide who goes down and who stays up. We should wait and see. Thespa will be rather hoping that they can gather enough points in the four matches between now and then. Get themselves clear of the threat of a drop down to J3. Let's look at the moment. And so the White and Grula are going to get relegated straight back to the division from which they were promoted last season. Koinagi was blocked. It's good tracking back from the goal scorer, Tanaka. Take this throw. And then there was a elbow to the head. Sure to Ayoka. That was where it was, look. Got studs in the face from Murakami. It did look as if it was deliberate. Maybe that's an unjust claim on my part, but it did look like he stamped from a lying position into the face of the defender but the referee didn't see it and there's no VAR in J2. Oh, it's 
wobbling around. Here comes to Kojima. It's foul. Two minutes gone. That's believed by a goal to nil. This would extend their run to four unbeaten. Having drawn the last three. So we've got a tough running. Yoshida at home next week, followed by a trip to Rosso. Home game with Jeff United and away game on the last day against promotion hopefuls Fagiano. After today, their opponents are exclusively up towards the top end of the table. Well, they do have enough points, it seems, to survive. They're 10 points clear. The drop zone. Thanks largely to four successive away wins. Luigi Seto with the long throw. Reaches it in towards the penalty area. It's a good flick on. Headed away by Hosegay. Seto again to the byline, does get the cross in. Bring it away as far as Anabi. He hangs it up high. Okamoto with the header away. Ujiyama in the thick of the action, trying to keep alive the Blitzer attack, but it is eventually cleared away downfield. Below Thespa, go to Rosso tomorrow. They've then got to play Zvejan at home, Renault for away, Tokyo Verdi at home, and then their trip to Thespa on the last day. They're, they're running, it's pretty much exclusively against mid table opposition. That if you wanted to pick up points, that's what you want. Let's have another look at the goal, simple tapping, really. break for the two players two sets of players so let me remind you that we will have more live action next weekend when we are focusing on the race for promotion and a mouth-watering game from the city light stadium fagiano are chasing down automatic promotion following a 3-0 victory yesterday and they're at home to fourth place playoff hopefuls vigalta sendai kickoff is at 1400 hours japanese time 0500 hours bst that's next saturday in the City Light Stadium, Fagiano against Vigalta. Players back to resume. the edge of the penalty area. It's a good touch from Suzuki. Mikagi. Gets in for Nakamura. Last touch came off of Mikagi. The 
acrobatics. Ended up catching Kojima on the head. Shinta Iyuki is spoken to by the referee. It's this bit of lead by a goal to nil. kick which Iwakami will take all the free kicks fall to him and he rolls it wide to Yakagi it's a cross it's very tightly marked by Nakamura it's going to be a corner good work down the left hand side from Yuyu Yakagi by Keito Chida. Yakagi. Wakami again. Chito away. Wakami once more. Runs across and away from Yuya Yakagi. And out for a throw. A nice little reverse pass inside to Suzuki. An excellent defending by Manaba. Does chip in with some quality defensive duties from the holding midfield goal. Jima couldn't control, but gets a second chance thanks to his captain, Asagi. That's a good ball into the channel. Something to run onto for Yakagi, who was offside. Flagged up on the far side. Just coming up to half an hour gone. And it's Thess, but whose lead is much the greater that lead here by a goal to nil. Thanks to Tanaka's goal on 17 minutes. on Mito Hollyhock at home later on. Yokohama in second, also at home against Vinfore Kufu. Bottom club Ryukyu are at home as well against Renofa. Blitzer nil, first but one here. The Blitzer in search of an equaliser. Listed forward by Chida. Straight out of play, sliced that completely with uh, Kato Chita. He's you know, made over 100 appearances for the club. Midfield from Fujiyama. Good the thought for King Yoshida. Seem to buy a win at home. Can't stop winning away from home. And a blitzer. It's all about picking up three points today for Thespa. Or at least a point. Been occupying a relegation position for much of the last three weeks. Shima's ball is a good one. Suzuki 
Not the pace of Kato. Cross to the box towards Kawamoto. Crashed away. Certainly had the pace of Kato Chida. Flicks it in towards the box. It was good defending by, Kaw uh, by uh, Akida. Stepped across to clear. Here's a corner. Here's a little to take. Way by the goalkeeper, there was an infringement. The free spotted it. It's a free kick. Twelve minutes of the first half remaining. Best leading by one goal to nil. The two were one nil winners away from home at the Shoda Shoya Stadium back in April. Thanks to an Aoki goal in the first half, but they're trailing to the first half goal themselves in the return fixture today. Last season, Thespa were one nil winners here, and they did the double over BB8. Prior to that, they last met in 2019 in J3. Both meetings ending in draws. Both teams have come up from J3 in the last three years. in the back by Kawamoto. Fujimoto, second spell at the club after a season with Nagano. As we enter the last 10 minutes of the first half. Sunshine continues the noisy crowd inside the Soyuz Stadium here in Nikita. And ball forward by Tanaka. Headed back in across goal. It's a good header off the line. Really good header away by Kunagi. To Kunagi. Or was it uh, Fuji? Couldn't quite see. But that was the closest we've come to an equaliser. The closest Blitzer have come to a goal. First header over the top from Akida. And it's headed off the line by Iwakami. Good defending on the line from Iwakami. The expense of a corner. Comes the corner. Trying to flick it on was Kawakami. Just to get it away. from Anaba. It's, uh, cleared away with the throw. Sato's long throw. It's up in the air. It might come back to Sato. With the throw. But again, the header towards goal was from Aoki. It was a pretty comfortable save. Right, Koji Yamada. Just 
one goal in the last seven home matches. The bitter. Manager himself, Ken Yoshida, said, I can't put my finger on. Well, he can't seem to produce it at home and yet away from home. They've won their last four J2 matches. Goal kick. Koji Yamada will take his time. His team leading by a goal to nil. Ask any Vesper fan who's made the journey up from Tokyo and they will quite gladly forward wind the clock an hour to take the three points powerfully away by Koyanagi Mishima made by Kawakami Ikagi has just gone out of play a little bit too tight on this near side from Yuya Yakagi Nine teams in this J2 league this season. Thespa with a better away record than a home record. In fact, both these teams fall into that category. They've won three at home, five away. This will be their sixth if they can hold out. Field. It's an easy challenge for Fuji to make. Back up from Hosegate. Tell he's a player with vast experience and he's really played at the very, very top with Bayer Leverkusen, Hertha, and Stuttgart. As I mentioned earlier, he's a player that's graced the Bundesliga over several seasons. And he reads the game so very well from the middle of that. Thespa midfield. Okamoto finding the goal scorer Tanaka. He switches it towards the left hand side. And Yo Yo Yukagi. Still 1 1 between 10 men. Vigelta, Tokushima Vortis. Draw specialists are drawing with around about six or seven minutes to go in that game. To the last five minutes of the first half here at the Soyu Stadium in Akita, and it's 1 0 to Thespa. Fighting to fend off relegation back to J3. cleared off the line by Iwakami was the closest Blabita have come good run down the left hand side by Kita Seto not such a good delivery into the box easy for Koji Yamada we do have Ayate Take the top scorer on the bench today Blabita Vespa have their top scorer the sixth goal Shoot Hiramatsu on the bench. So both teams have opted not to go with the man who scored the most league goals today. They're both on the bench, the top scorers. Left footed from Fuji. Headed by Sato. Nakamura to Koyanagi. Minaba. Shiji. Minaba. Shida. Not a good ball at all, though. Straight out for a throw. Three minutes remaining in the first half. 
Goal on 17 minutes from Toshiya Tanaka. Simple tapping to give Thespa the lead. In a game of relatively few chances. to Thespa. Just looking to see things through to half time. Thespa at home to Renufa and Amir Adija in the next two huge games over the next two weekends. Really the last four, three of the last five, I should say, are at home. So we blitz a corner right in front of those home fans, making plenty of noise behind the goal away to our right. Penalty area that was driven, and Arby did get an Arby did get a sh uh, head onto it. Hope he was fouled. Here is an Arbor again. And that was nowhere near goal. Got right underneath it. 28-year-old midfielder lifted that high over the crossbar. Coach Ken Yoshida. Some thinking to do ahead of half time. Kida back to Tanaka. And pulled forward. Watched well by Kawakami. And as far as Nakamura. Flick the other way by Kojima to that one minute of added time that the fourth official has indicated just down below us. Nakamura, it's a good run into the channel by Fujiyama. Pulled back and turned into the penalty area. A volley was struck towards goal by Shiji, but good defending by Fuji to get the ball away. Nakamura, right, ran away from the first touch, just too much for him. He took it lovely on the chest, didn't he? But just uh, run away and out for a goal kick. And with that, I suspect the half time whistle is just about to sound. Indeed, there you go. Well, Thespers' need is much the greater, and they lead courtesy of a goal on 17 minutes. A simple tap in by Toshia Tanaka who scores his first league goal of the season. He has scored a cup goal. And so at half-time, Thespers' relegation worries have been eased somewhat with a lead that they will hope to carry through in the second half. At half-time at the Soyu Stadium in Akita, it's Blablissa Akita nil, Thespa Kazatsu Gunma 1.
2022平野サスエメ J3 ブ第37節 PSA グループゼンスグラウミッツァキタバージャスザスパクサス群馬本日はご来場いただきまして誠にありがとうございます本日のマッチスポンサー PSA グループということで BB マッチもあります PSA グループブースでは PSA グループダイヤフリースローチャレンジ PSA グループ抽選会などさまざまなイベントが開催されましたそしてマッチスポンサー PSA グループのスペシャルゲストとして本日はお笑いコンビペナルティのお二人にもご来場いただいておりますそれではお待たせいたしましたここでペナルティのお二人に登場いただきましょうお願いしますGreeted by glorious sunshine. It was the home side that made a more industrious start. This was a shot that was hit from the edge of the penalty area by Fujiyama. It was blocked. Lively Kawa Moto. With the uh, start of a build up, the cross coming in from. Kojima, and it was Suzuki that took the ball on, forcing the save from the goalkeeper, and a simple tap in from the rebound by Tanaka for his first league goal of the season. Response from the home side. So this header cleared off the line. Peter's header 
Hirakami with a brilliant block right from underneath his own cross, but the sighting of goal. And it was an easy save from the goalkeeper Yamada. The uh, Blitzer players back out onto the pitch at the second half. Really, one chance for Thesper, and they've taken it. 
The two lowest goal scorers in the J2 this season. It was never going to be a goal fest. It was always going to be intriguing. Koji Yamada knows that a clean sheet in the second half will ensure all three points travel back to the northwest of Tokyo. Long 600 kilometre trek back down south will be all the more pleasant with a victory. Nagata 1, Tokushima Votis 1 is a result from earlier on. Two sides pushing for a playoff place and may yet well meet the playoffs and one in that game we will see the Galta in action next weekend at the City Light Stadium against Fagiano really looking forward to that one third against fourth mouth watering that's next weekend on Sunday same time same place as this one in fact it's slightly earlier kickoff I think it is uh, 500 hours BST 1400 hours Japanese time but we're all back out now. Have a look round. Can't see any changes from either side at half time. to get this second half underway just waiting for the referee to get formal clearance and indeed he does and it's the blitzer in the blue kicking from right to left to get the second half underway that's for their change colors of all white is the name of the game for successive away victories it's pretty much blown the blitz up away from the relegation fight which it, they had been part of for much of the season it's out of home form they would have been relegated by now I think away form has been excellent it's a challenge by Nakamura here. Stops the showing as Hosoge went in. Both players received an injury as a result of that challenge. I don't think there was any intent. One or two the Blitzer players that said Hosoge went in with his studs showing. And yes, he did, but he also won the ball. You can also see there the studs of Nakamura. wholehearted challenge in which both players came out with an injury. It is a free kick to Thespa. That presents an opportunity for them to chuck both Kawakami and Fuji into the penalty area. Two tall defenders. Swung in straight into the flight path of goalkeeper Tanaka. And one home goal in the last five. They need to find one today if they are to avoid another home defeat. Remember this? The Blitzer side have not won since the 8th of May at home. So bad at home, so good away. I 
good news for anyone that supports the Blitzer. Is it there at home again next week? <laughs> Against Nashida Zalvia. And then they have a tough trip away to Rosso for another home match with the promotion hopefuls, Jeff United. The fringes of the playoff equation. Good run between now and the end of the season to clip those in front of them. Suzuki. Is it high? It's headed back across goal and hits the crossbar. And the rebound is blocked and then blocked again on the light. An unbelievable sequence of events. And then at the second time of asking, a scissor kick from Seitu is uh, over the crossbar. And a yellow card has been shown there. Well, pick the bones out of that drama. Because that was certainly all hands to the pump from Thesper as they held on grimly to their lead. It was all about the cross from Aoki, headed back across. It hits a crossbar, comes back down. The first shot from Anabu was blocked. The second shot was blocked from Sato. And then he tried a scissor kick, which went over the crossbar. So dangerous play from Sato. It looks like he's the player that's received the yellow card. First yellow card of the match. Have you ever seen anyone yellow carded for shooting with a scissor kick before? But it was off the crossbar from Sato as well. Very, very interesting sequence of events. They cannot find a route to an equaliser. Well, they have struggled with goals. And it just won't go in, it just will not go in for Ken Yoshida and his team. And very nearly equalised in the opening five minutes of the second half. Vespa rescued by the crossbar. Free kick. That was a harsh yellow card. He's got a, a right to go for it. And they've got the defenders being brave. And if you get a yellow card a player for a scissor kick at goal, then you've got to outlaw acrobatics like that. And that probably won't go down particularly well with the purest football connoisseur amongst us that loves to see a scissor kick goal every now and again. Be allowed, and it's allowed, but if it's not, then rule it out. But did you ever see that in football? Maybe one day FIFA turned around and say, Right, scissor kicks are banned. It's not within, without the, it's not out of the realms of possibility, is it? When you think about it, because it's deemed as a high foot. by Akida. Looks long, trying to find a Yoiki. That's a poor touch by Koyanagi. Tried to bring it down against his old club. Now an injury will hold up play. And Akami's gone down, holding his ankle. Nothing to the referee saying he's okay. He's just in a bit of pain at the moment. Not back to his feet. By shot up Aoki. First from Kawakami. He's been solid at the back for Thespa. Kawakami. It's the 
third season at the club after joining from Meiji University. Bit of a foul throw there by Kuenagi. This is the referee into the penalty area for Ayoki. And the cross from Nakamura was top heavy and sailed over everyone's heads. Eight minutes into the second half. Good chest down from Anaba. Wriggling into the box, Shota Ayoki. There's Nakamura. Good and a half minutes into the second half. And they've hit the bar, they've had one off the line. The blitzer. Jesper have had one shot. Preston. by a goal to nil. Rikagi. Weaving run and a good weaving run at that, but stopped in his tracks by Anaba. That's a foul. Shota Ayoki pulled back. Foul by Hosegai. He's happy to give away free kicks in that area all afternoon long. Such an experienced player, knew exactly what he was doing. There you go. Get down to the ground, have a free kick there, we'll get everyone behind the ball. No chance of you breaking away. Very clever play by a very experienced 35-year-old. So we're going to see the first change in a second. It looks like Abuki Yoshida is just about to come on. Nice hoist back into the box from Anaba. Well, favourably to Kojima. They hoisted it clear. A change. Shishida replaces Keita Sato. Keita Sato makes way. He hasn't scored this season. Abuki Yoshida has three goals and they need a goal. Away and again, it's the side gate in the thick of the action. And throw glance forward by Kawamoto, led away by Kuyanagi. Too heavy. Ball towards Fujiyama. And out for a throw. Fifteen home goals in seventeen home matches for Blitzer. They've only leaked twenty-one before today. The only team with less home goals. Fastball with twelve. There's no Two teams. There's no team shot shown in these two. These are the two lowest scorers. They've both got decent defensive records, you know. You can see too many. Scoring goals, it's the problem. This won't be ended nil-nil. Just -nil. believe. Sure, what the hold up here is, but Thesper will be quite happy that the referees intervene. No, it's a knock for Kawakami. Slightly windy, I think it's okay. They will try and buy stoppages like that all second half long. And who could blame them? They lead by a goal to nil in a very important match for them. They can pick something up here. They go three points clear. Grula, who play tomorrow. Kami. Kuenagi. Tripped by Tanaka, the goal scorer. Jay 
and two more away wins and home wins this season. And these two teams have both followed that trend. They've both got more away wins and home wins. Tanaka strides forward and hits it long. 13 minutes into the second half. Getting away from Kawakami. He's done everything that's been asked of him, the defender. He's kept it solid at the back alongside Fuji. Kayanagi. Koenagi towards the box. It's another really good header away by Kawakami. Naba. Koenagi again. He's got two to tango with. It's back to Fujiyama. Koenagi. They run out of space there. Goal kick. Fifth minute of the game. And a little over half an hour to play at the Soyu Stadium. The Blitz are nil. This for one. Double motor. That's good, intelligent play. Yukagi, who's always a willing runner down the left hand side. In towards the penalty area, lashes it towards goal. Wasn't a bad run from Yukagi, but straight at the goalkeeper Tanaka, who made a Comfortable save at his near post. Fesper have really only had that one clear cut chance which ended up in the back of the net. Let's uh, have one off the line before half time. And then that chance which hit the crossbar. Saito. No, but had a shot blocked. Saito had two shots blocked. It was all hands to the pump from Vespa. But they did defend it manfully. With men behind the ball. Somehow it's still 1 0. So it's the only player out there on a the yellow card, Saito. So. He got it. For a high boot for the scissor kick. It's the letter of the law. I agree with it. Maybe you've got her out law. Scissor kicks, haven't you? That would be controversial. kami has been very solid at the back for Thesper. And he needs to continue that for another half an hour or so. Kawakami. Fuji can't quite keep it in play. Former Amiya Adija player also played for Yokohama, Yuta Fuji. Naba. Hits it back from Nakamura into the penalty area. Smashed away by Husagai. Kenagi again. Forward more and more now, Kurnagi down the left hand side. Kato Chida. Not quite sure what he was intending there. He's going straight out for a throw, which was light relief for Fesper.
Back by Ilsegate. Fuji. Nakagi. Went by Kojima. Fujiyama. For the shot, Shiji, no. Pass from Koyanagi. Lots towards goal by Yoshida and behind for a goal kick. Yoshida almost a substitute. In the corner, take a brush off of the defender, Kajima. That was a goal kick that was given in the end. Too much thought by the referee. Shishi, Koyanagi hey. again. It's a good flick on by Yoki. Shida battling away. And cleared by Kawakami and a chance for Thesper to break away with Aoki. Poor first touch from him. Allowed the home side to clear through their goalkeeper Yamada. Seems one in the face of his team there. As Hosuke. Quick reminder, we have more live action next weekend when we focus on the race for promotion in the mouth-watering game from the City Light Stadium. Fagiano are chasing down automatic promotion after a 3-0 victory yesterday against VVM and are at home to fourth-placed playoff hopefuls for Gauta Sendai. Kick off 1,400 hours Japanese time, 0500 hours BST. Then that's next Saturday. The following weekend, we're off to Ryukyu and the Ryukyu Islands for bottom against second. Ryukyu desperately battling to avoid relegation against Yokohama. And that's 18.30 Japanese time. 10.30 BST from the Tapit Kenzo over on the Ryukyu Island. Two great games coming up on the J-League International YouTube channel over the next couple of weekends. Great action to look forward to. This one is all about survival. The Blitzer should be okay. The 10 points clear of those occupying the two relegation places. A couple of throws I've seen from Koenagi that look borderline foul throws, but officials have taken a blind eye look to that. Koenagi again. And by Akida. So too. Anywhere will do from Okamoto. Able to keep the ball in play, Yoshida. He's certainly livened things up since he's come on. We're going to see a couple of changes now for the home side. First of them being Shota Ayoki. He comes off. Four goal, Hayata Taki. The top scorer comes on. been very quiet on the left hand side replaced by a defensive player in Yashuki Mikami he is mainly a midfielder but can play in the right fullback position he's going to slot in on the left midway point of the second half by Okamoto. You see a change for the visitors as well. Shoot to Kitagawa. He's just about ready to come on. In the next break of play. No cross. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. 
Kawakami steered it behind, but the goalkeeper had committed one way, Yamada. And the defender for a split second there, I thought he was going to put through his own net, but dangerous ball in from Yoshida. And it's a corner. Tomofumi Fujiyama in his second spell at the club to take this corner. Out swinger. Headed towards goal. Got power on it, but couldn't keep it down. Keito Chida. And the tall defender. He's yet to score in the J2 this season. Heads over the top. Got a good head on it. Just slightly underneath it. That drinks break. And this was the chance that hit the bar. Look at the blocks. <laughs> the yellow card for that. I still can't believe that's a yellow card for the. Well, I can. On the letter of the law, yes, high kick. But if you're going to yellow card people for a scissor kick, then you've got to outlaw scissor kicking, surely, haven't you? <laughs> I don't get it. Because if that flies in the back of the net, do you disallow it because someone's put their head close to the proximity of the boot of the player with a scissor kick? I, I just... Sorry. Am I being slightly dim here? I'm not quite sure why that was a yellow card. A couple of changes coming up. Kawa is on for Kawamoto. Kojima, the fullback, makes way for Yamanaka. He will come on in midfield, the 20 year old. Former Irawa, the Diamonds player. Sargate so just lifts it to the left-hand side. You trickle away for a throw. It's an injury to Nakamura. Took a knock to the back of the head. Large bulk of the games in J2 this weekend take place this evening. Leaders Alberex hosting Mito Hollyhock later. Yokohama who are being tracked down by Fagiano. Real big game for them at home to Venfore Kufu today. Bottom club Ryukyu at home to Renofa. Yesterday's match, Fagiano cemented third spot with a convincing 3 0 win at home to Vivaran. Fagging just two points off of Yokohama now, chasing down an automatic promotion spot, and of course, will be at Fagiano next weekend. And they take on the Galta, should be a good game. Comes across, good header away, and a shot from distance at Queens wide. It's Kitagawa back there, heading away. Striker just on as a substitute. Eighteen minutes to go for Thesper to hold on. Leaning into Koyanagi, who got the last touch. Ok, 
Kami. Kitagawa. Here's by Koyanagi. Moves the throw. So Shota Inaba trying to steer his team back into this game with an equaliser. But here come Thespa, taken nicely by Suzuki, all over the top, nudge back by Ikeda to his goalkeeper Tanaka. Long launch ball forward. Chip over the top by Taki. Trying to release his new strike partner, Yoshida. Both these players on as substitutes. Good to have used three changes. That's for two. Kuenagi against his old club. Long throw in. It's another good header away from Kuwakami. corner. The Blitz up knocking on the door. One goal in seven matches at home. Well, one and eight unless they can find something in the next 15 minutes. towards the back post the header was a good one and it was heading towards the back of the net and it was a comfortable save in the end but Yoshida got on the end of the corner angled it in towards goal kind of got in the way of Ikeda who was running in behind that perhaps was a better option second goal for Thespa would really take the pressure off Tanaka, the goal scorer of the first goal. Nakamoto. And win a throw. And I'll be happy to keep that ball down that end for as long as possible. That's for leading with 14 minutes to go by one goal to nil. Long throw. Trying to take his time here as well. Iwakami, who can blame him? Way by Akida. Another throw it. This is a towel on the side of the pitch. They'll try his hands, Iwakami. Try anything they can to just buy the odd second here and there. That's the throw. Towards the penalty area. Thumped away by the head of Cheetah. Right by Kitagawa. Crossed by Tanaka. Cleared away. Sergei. Hamanaki. Nakamura. It's a good solid challenge. You say so. Shida. Saito again. Good triangles. Saito with a cross. Again. Kawakami, it's on the end of everything. It's been so solid at the back. Another injury. And, uh, couple of changes. Nakamura comes off. And so too does Fujiyama. 
Keiki Kagura and Nao Aguchi coming on. Like for like changes, really. Kanichi Kaga will replace Nakamura down the right. Fujiyama comes off and is replaced by Nao Aguchi. who will slot into the defence. He's a holding midfield player. Previously with Ahime. He's now in his fourth season with the club. Not to be outdone. We're going to see a couple of changes. First, they're going to bring on Shirawa and Kazama at the next break. Foul by Take. Hayata Take. Well, they will kill as much time as they possibly can in these instances. Sergei seems to be okay after that challenge by Hayata Taki. Still receiving instructions, those two substitutes, Shiroa and Kazama. Ten minutes to go. to take the free kick headed back across a looping header from Kitagawa Foul. Referee plays a good advantage. Inaba. Sliced up in the air. By Yamanaka. Who slotted in at left back. And Fuji directed the ball away. It's going to be a throw it to Blablitzer. Nine minutes to go. That's injury time. Blablitzer nil. Thespa won. It would be a huge win if Thespa can hold on. Uji Saito, the long throw. Goal kick. And here come those changes that we spoke about a few moments ago. Mikagi is the first player to come off from the nearest point of exit. The other player to be replaced is Tanaka, the goal scorer. Ayeti Shiroa will come on on that right hand side. And Kazama as well, that's Kazama that's gone to the right hand side. And Hayati Shiroa to the left, takes his time. The goal scorer Toshia Tanaka. The simple tap in after 17 minutes it could be priceless. They've only won one of their last eight matches, only won one of the last ten away matches. They haven't picked up a victory away from home since succeeding away at Montevideo back in July. Desperate. Clearance, trying to find Kitagawa. Puts his foot on it, Akida. 
Kikuchi. Fouled by Kitagawa. There's another one of his instances. Very experienced play that from Kitagawa. Just a break up play. They're defending very well. Yes, they've had a little bit of luck with the ball hitting the crossbar and then all those blocks. Clearance off the line as well by Iwakami in the first half and the header for Makeda. It's a goal kick, ducked underneath it. And, uh, goal kick given it to Shiroa that watched it carefully over his shoulder. Tesla's a breathing space. I have to say that you know, that can't pick up a result tomorrow. Or Ryukyu later on today. Matsu is going to come on in a minute for Thesper. The last change. They've made four already. And now one more change. And one more change is going to come up in just a second. Five minutes to go. This is going to be launched long by Kuyanagi. Of course it was. And everyone behind the ball, he's got time to throw it inside and get a return and put it into the box. Deeper, but no. Kazama. Last touch came off of Koki Kazama. He claims it didn't. And the referee has actually changed his mind. Comes that last change. Hiramatsu for Suzuki. Signed from relegated. Sagamahara, last close season. Shoot Hiramatsu. He has scored six goals this season. Top scorer is on. He's been nursing a knock. Why he didn't start today or last week. Four minutes remaining. Plus, I would imagine. Four minutes of added time on top of that. Here it's by Akita's gone out for a throw in. Not what the Blitzer want to be conceding at the moment. They need to get the ball down the other end. Nakamoto. Flipped over the shoulder by Hiramatsu. His first touch. Hiramatsu again. Drag to the floor, and he wins his side a free kick. Assistant referee gave it the other way. And then quickly changed his mind. It's good play by Hiramatsu, lent into the defender, and was hauled back. Foul by Akida. They're going to deliver this one into the box. There's no one in there. This one's going to be played short. And uh, into the corner, I would imagine. Can we get the crossing? It's a big question 
for Kazama. He's just trying to kill time at the moment. It's almost as if he was frightened to get the cross in. He just wanted to hold it in the corner. In the end, it's a goal kick given. Two minutes to go. Yamanaka, good running forward. Yuri kept with him. They've done well to keep the ball down that end for a couple of minutes, Thess, but every time there's a break, a free kick or a, a goal kick or a throw like that, they just kill a few more seconds. It's the nature of the game when you're holding on like they are. Looks like another blank day for Blublitz. Push. Went to head it there, Hasaki. He knew exactly what he was doing, the captain, and he goes down. Holding his back, I'm pretty sure there's probably nothing wrong with him. With 20 seconds to go, in just a few moments, we're going to find out what the fourth official is going to add on. I would imagine it's probably going to be at least four minutes. There's been a lot of break up in this second half from Fess, but he's taken the fluidity out of the game, that's for sure. He won't care. He can take three points away from the Shoya Stadium today, he will be a very happy man. We haven't seen him smile yet today, though. Five minutes of added time. And we've moved into that five minutes now. Shiroa into the penalty area. There's a handball against Kitagawa. forward by Tanaka and they find an opening in stoppage time they fall into the box and that was a foul put his body on the line again there Kawakami it's clattered into by Yoshida and that was a foul ball into the box thrown to the ground wasn't it definite foul frustration for Ken Yoshida and again more break up play Kawakami takes his time, does his lace-up. That's ruined the game as a spectacle, that's for sure. But when you're in deep, deep trouble down at the bottom like Thespa are, it doesn't matter. It's not about the entertainment, it's a results business. So they do not want to be dropping back down into J3. Or a club with enterprise that wants to move forward. Survival is of the utmost importance at the moment. Halfway through that, two, two and a half minutes into the five, added on by the referee, Rio Tanaka. Goal kick. Five 
augmented second half in which Thesper have one or two nervy moments, particularly the one uh, that crossbar was hit. They defended very well. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. They had that luck in that scramble when the bar was hit and three shots were blocked. Sargate, happy at being penalised. That man is the man of the match. Kawakami has been excellent at the back for Thespa. Throw it to Glavlenza. There is still time. Final minute of stoppage time. Launched forward by Tanaka. Straight to the other goalkeeper, Yamada. He claims the ball, then drops on it and tries to kill a few more priceless seconds. He's animated at the moment. So Yushi Otsuki. Knows that his side are within touching distance. Long launch downfield from Yamada. Gets it as far down the pitch as he possibly can. Kitagawa is challenging. And Kitagawa is away down the left-hand side. He'll just take that ball into the corner. Being chased by Kagure. Sees off a couple of challenges. But the Blitz are win it back. Takes you forward with Kagure. Do on the far side. The five minutes of added time are up. Is there time for one last assault from Blablitza? It's going to add a little bit more on to that five minutes because of the stoppage in stoppage time. Also the right hand side from Kaguri beats against the defender. Living every moment, isn't he? Down on the touchline. Let's see. It. Throwing short. Take back out to Kaguri. Deep cross into the penalty area. Can they find a touch? Scrambled. And the goalkeeper drops on it. And with it, the final whistle sounds. And all hands to the pump there. There was a nervous few moments just before that final whistle. But Thespa Kazatsukumba have won away from home today against Blubitsa and in doing so climb three points away from the bottom two. It's a massive, massive win for Thespa to ease their relegation worries. They've still got work to do, of course they have, but this is a massive win for Tsuyoshi Otsuki's side. The only goal of the game, a tap in from close range in the first half by Toshia Tanaka, his first league goal of the season. More frustration for Blitzer. It's now one goal in their last eight home matches. And they haven't won since the 8th of May on home soil. Final score, Blitzer Akita nil. Thespa Kazatsu Gunma won.
ここ3試合ドローが続いていた中で待ちに待った勝ち点3です。喜びの声聞かせてください。そうですね。まあ本当チーム全員がハードワークして、まあすごいいい結果が得られたなと思います。先制そして勝負を決めたゴールシーン小島選手鈴木選手そして詰めていた田中選手が押し込みました振り返っていただけますかまああの形はまあ監督からも言われてましたしゴール前入れっていうのはまあ練習からも何回もやってたのでそういう形が出たので良かったかなと思います苦しいチーム状況そして三連戦の最後メンタル的にも体力的にも厳しいものがあったと思いますがどんな声をかけて試合に入ったんですかそうですねやっぱり勝ち点さんが必要だった中でまあ選手全員がいい声をかけて、まあ、試合に入ろうっていうのはやってたので、まあ、本当それがみんなのおかげで取れた点だったし、まあ、本当にいい勝ち点さんだったかなと思います何度もピンチの場面を迎えましたが驚異的な粘り強さチーム全員で守りました執念とも言うべき守備振り返っていかがでしょうかそうですね本当に秋田さんも手ごわいでですしたくさんのロングボールが入った中でまあ山田を中心に、まあ、後ろから本当にいい声もかけてましたしすごい跳ね返してくれてたので、まあ、それが本当に結果につながってよかったかなと思いますおめでとうございますありがとうございます
非常に大きな勝ち点三を手にしました。今の思い聞かせてください。はい、おっしゃる通りです。大きな勝ち点三だろうと思います。え、先制のシーン、得意のサイドからのゴールでした。田中選手は今シーズン初ゴールとなります。あの場面振り返っていかがでしょうか。まあ、いろんな仕組みを準備した中の一つが出て嬉しいです。何度もシュートブロックがあり、まあ、選手たちの執念のようなものを感じました、ご覧になっていていかがでしたか非常に感謝してます、選手にはね、あのー、秋田まで来ていただいたサポーターの皆さんにもそうですけど、今回、本当に先に、ね、言わなきゃいけないのは、選手、スタッフに感謝しなきゃいけない、もういろんなことがあって、練習場も使えず、スタッフも揃わず、いいゲームをしてくれましたね。相手に合わせたスタイルということで、まあ、ロングボール合戦のような形になりました、その群馬の戦い方、その選択というのをどう評価しますか、まあ、評価というか、僕が選択したので、はい、それは評価される側だと思いますけれども、あのー、秋田さんはやっぱりすごく素晴らしいこう積み上げとか、そういった徹底みたいなものが武器で、それを僕らは徹底することを辞さずに、絶対そこを負けないでっていうテーマで今日臨みました。で確かにブサイクで苦しい時間も多かったですけどもあの選手を、ね、本当誇らしく思いますおめでとうございます。はいありがとうございました勝利は持ち越しとなりましたまずはこの結果を受けての今の思い聞かせてくださいたくさんのご声援いただいてホームで勝てなくて本当に申し訳ないです、まあ、警戒していた群馬のサイド攻撃からの失点となりましたあの失点シーン振り返っていかがでしょうか隙があったと思います決定機というのは何度も何度も作りましたただ相手の粘り強さが一歩上回りましたそのあたりどうご覧になっていましたかそれを入れるように強度を高めて練習するのみだと思います残りは5試合次節もホームでの戦いとなります選手たちにどんな声をかけてそしてどんな風に戦っていきますか感謝の気持ちを持ってチームみんなで努力を続けて勝って秋田一体で喜びたい、喜び合いたいと思います。ありがとうございました。はい、ありがとうございました。